I guess I'll be sitting up here waiting on the next mission. Yes, sir. Well, not sitting up here the whole time. It's very uncomfortable, but, you know, I guess I'll just wait on this equipment. Avenger. Yeah, 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 we Avenger. I'm swinging, y'all Avenger. You feel me? But, um, mm, yeah, nah, I need a, I need a hot dog or something. Chilly dog, something. Open up. You see the kind of soda they got. Crap, crap, mega crap, and then zero juice. So if it's zero juice, then what's in it? Hold on, let me get this straight. Zero juice? No juice? No juice whatsoever? I don't even tell you the price. So it's free. So you get free zero. Hold on, what this over here? This is bogo soda buy one get one free that's what it is one like a hero bogo and you standing here and said it must not be good because you've been here for a hot minute bro i don't know about that where the cafeteria at ain't nobody eating somebody left their coffee mm, nah i'm good on that you just stand there look like you just left a mental ward. Keep me in coffee and check out what I've got for sale. Mmm, see, there got that word sale again. But I got a whole free juice over here that says zero cent, but you want to sell me some. I love this job. Anyway, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the scene with your boy Rebel. Your boy Rebel now back on the scene. Dropping a brand new breakdown bill video for Spider-Man. Last time we checked in, we Copy. used a 007 bill. I am now dropping the dropping the uh let me see how can i pull this this is the gi joe series um hey, that i'm doing Man. as of late captain america was my first one drop and i did a version point two y'all check that out i actually upgraded his resolve made him a little bit more Man, tankier so far as not being glass cannon so had to do that but this is the snake eye build for my spider-man and i chose this costume because it's I don't know. I like this costume. I know in the comic book, this is a version two he made. Is it version two or version three? Version two he had with just the armor. This one he had, I think he upgraded. He upgraded it again. So I think it's like a Mach 3. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments. Hello, Spider Man. Definitely. I'm feeling this costume, man. It, it has a. I would say this is like a Avengers Snake Eyes outfit. Spider Man Rock. And that helmet is just perfect. That's the perfect helmet. They could have kept the collar though, man. I don't know why they keep bringing this collar like the Count Dracula or something. But anyway, yeah, it's a snake eyes build, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm starting out with the Mega Gauge Proficiency and Might 7478 with the Power Attack Villain Cosmic. And I have a Lightweight Cosmic Surge. Lightweight, uh, light combo finishers. Grants the Cosmic Surge buff, uh, dealing damage while the buff is active. Restores. Small amount of willpower and heroic energy. Sorry, I'm looking at two things at the same time. Um, it has a 41.1% chance to defeat enemies afflicted with cosmic status, grants an intrinsic burst. So, uh, for those who don't know, like I said, I have a variety of hand, of uh, melee pieces, and y'all know my algorithm, man. I I I've been keeping true to my algorithm might and might slots range and range slots which would be precision and then i have resolve in the defense slot and get ahead of myself but i'm ultimately working on increasing his resolve you know minus the patch that came out like i say most of my characters if not all of them can go to the raid um the elite raid is the only thing that i'm concentrating on now due to the fact of the gear that comes out of it so definitely want to get everybody at a certain way and the way i'm doing my raid is i'm getting everybody to 163 off the off the omega level threat that's what i'm basically doing and by me doing that i'm in a way bypassing the whole frustration of the raid the regular raid freezes glitches where the case may be uh playing with some good people meeting some new friends getting some gear and ultimately, you know what I'm saying, testing out these builds that I'm making and trying to put some builds out there for y'all, get y'all ideas of what y'all could do. But for the most part, 
Um, let me see. It's like a thirty percent difference. Yeah, yeah. I was rocking this one right here, the light combo finishers, but now I have this one. So proficiency and might. That's a nice proficiency. Can't wait to see what the red gear is gonna be like. Uh, shout out to my boy Lejeune coming off a of high rollers information with the uh, what's this attack called? This attack is called the web repeater. You can do it off the ground in the air. It's not like the Insomniac ones. I want everybody to understand that's where they, that's where this game got that from, where he sh sprays an array of uh, web balls that's supposed to do damage, but it's angled wrong. It's just horrible looking. It feels bad, but in the air it's a little bit better. But it's a range attack, not a melee. So keep that in mind when you're thinking like, oh, it's not doing any melee damage because it's not supposed to. It's a, it's a range attack. This one I have proficient buff cartridges, precision, might, and valor. Now, I want to get a higher piece. Um, if this one had might on it, I'll be rocking this one. But unfortunately, it does not. Now I'm looking for might because this is a melee build. You know, you basically snake eyes throwing them hands. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, my snake eye build. But this one has the chance. Range power attack grant for damage buff requires range power attack. And I'm gonna show y'all easy how how it is just to get a damage buff off of this and just go ham. Range attacks, web blast, uh, increase web damage, and of course the expert empowerment chance to see enemies in the weak point grants an intrinsic burst. We have the Omega Ward, Might and Resolve. I do have some resolve. I'm not squishy, and I do have my Might, which is in the defensive slot. But you know, I take what I can get. Especially off the build I'm trying to get. For those who's building, you know, you can do a range build, you can do a valor build, you can do a might build, you can do a tank build, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, wherever your numbers are at the top right hand corner of the gear piece you're getting, you want to attribute to your overall heroic stats. That's going to give you, show you the type of build that you're getting. So, um, I got videos down the line coming out explaining how to build, when to build how to play Omega Level Threat, how to play with other people, or just how to know your character in general. But right now, it's all about that snake eyes, you feel me? Uh, this is the 30% negative reduction, damage reduction for any cosmic attacks. Chance taking any damage grants a cosmic surge buff, dealing damage while the buff is active, restores a small amount of what? Will power and heroic energy. So he, he got a lot of cosmic on him. And just for those who don't know, we know about Burning Masonic has taken over this game completely. Um, but I'm here to show y'all your, your plasmas and your your cosmics and your cryos and your gammas. Yo, don't sleep on them, y'all. Don't sleep on them, seriously. I know a lot of a lot of um, veteran YouTubers uh, of this content have pointed out that gamma is powerful, cosmic is powerful. It's just you gotta you gonna have to get out your comfort zone. We know that they try to force you to use just vibranium and sonic. They want you to forget about everything else, but we don't forget. Trust me, I don't forget. So we don't forget. And then we have the high mind visor, which is valor and might increases the charge rate for heroic assault by 18 percent. Spin resilience and the ultimate heroic charge. With the spin resilience, tends to completely resist spin attacks, preventing any heroic charge rate energy loss. So you know that can be for getting shot by those little stupid little drones that take your heroics away. This is what this is for. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, y'all definitely look out for this perk right here. It can be on any gear piece, but look out for it. And I have increased charge rate for ultimate heroic by 18%. So, I have assault and I have the ultimate. Um, rest of these, but I'm, I, you know what's crazy? I have a hoarding issue. I might just start getting rid, rid of this stuff. It's just getting crowded. But I might keep this one, you know, because it has precision on it. And I might want to switch up and do a precision build. So, I know I'll keep that one. This one right here, Precision, Valor, Resolve, is pretty much, it's the same thing, but look at it. Two stats and three stats. It just depends on how the dice roll, y'all. It's not so much of, you know, me personally, it's not a take on everybody showing off the gear that, oh, look, look what I got. No, I'm showing you what you could get. And I got these off of, this was off of Priority Mission that I upgraded right here. And this one was off a the Gauntlet. So... You know, the gauntlets, it does not, unfortunately, dish out gear higher than 140, so. But if you get that gear and you want to upgrade it, by all means, do so. For those who are trying to upgrade, if you want to upgrade this gear right here, 
an epic piece and use one of these, you're not going to get it to go to gold. So keep that in mind. And also, the stats may not go up as high. For some reason, they seem to upgrade better when they're the same. Legendary, legendary. Um, it's rare you're going to find an epic that's automatically higher than 140. So keep that in mind. But it might go up. It might. The reason why this one hasn't, because it just, mm -mm. I've tried to look for something that'll make it go up. Every time I try to upgrade, it doesn't work. So, but I'm keeping it. Don't know why. I might just, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I got it. It's, it's just it's bothering me. And then, what else is bothering me? This is bothering me. And then, what else is bothering me? That's bothering me. And then, what else is bothering me? This is bothering me. This is bothering me. Okay. And this is bothering me. Alright, we're going to the minor artifacts. I'm rocking the Nornstone of Conquest, Valor, Resolve, and Might. Increases damage from signature attacks. Of course, the first one is the uh, insurmountable. I said it right. Insurmountable. Chance to complete any mission at challenge 2 rating or higher will reward an extra gear item. Yes, sir. And it actually does work. Yeah, you, 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 you'd you be surprised getting an extra um, minor artifact that's epic. It's actually good. Actually, this, this is how I got this one. Come to think of it, I got this one from uh, uh, a regular mission. I got this one. Wait a minute, hold on. No, 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 no. I got this from the vendor, Pacific uh, Outpost, and then I used it on a mission, and I got, I think it was this one. No. What one of these? Yeah, this one right here. Got the Valor and Might one. It's actually pretty good. This takes out my health. Don't like it. And then we have the Triple Might, which I wish it was higher. 30, 30, ugh, 27, and 30. If it was 40, 42, and... 40 something oh yeah and 12 percent increased damage from mid-air melee combo so that's why i'm fighting over a t on fight enemies in the air i'm doing 12 percent increase more damage with melee combos so oh yeah um this is my hero stats as you can see my might is at 4 36 precision is 51 proficiency 74 that's good not it's definitely not high but it's not too low it's above 65 valor is at 186 let me explain Valor real quick. Hero effectiveness and critical damage are very essential to your proficiency. And and, and I think Lejeune said it best. Shout out Lejeune. Proficiency and Valor go neck and neck. Because you have your perk chance, your critical chance. So your critical damage and critical chance kind of go together. Your hero effectiveness and your perk chance, they go together. So at the end of the day, if I have, let's say my Valor was higher. Let's say it was at 200. You know, the number of course will go up. But the hero effectiveness, which is 12, uh, 1707, the higher that goes, the more damage, you know, for some reason, it just does a lot of damage. So this is why my algorithm stays where it is, 65 and up on proficiency and Valor, 150 and up. Uh, my resolve is 112, Garbo, do not like it. It was higher than that before the reset. Um, like I say, 9 times out of 10, I'm taking him to the raid anyway when I get to 160. If he can hold out until then, you know, he's going to definitely uh, get the benefits of getting that resolve up. Uh, definitely going to be using some Discord gear on Spider-Man. I'm not too much feeling the gear he's been getting just in regular missions or the OLT. Not feeling it. Some of it's okay, some of it's not. As you can see, my ultimate heroic assault heroics at 30.3, and my support heroic rate charge is at 12.3. So, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm proud of that. It might though. Oh my gosh, y'all should. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all check out for them videos too, man. Spider Man, uh, Snake Eye build videos. But yeah, definitely. The skills haven't changed as much, y'all. Um, you know, still have their high emissions. Um, which is basically it basically breaks breaks block high damage impact medium web status medium and reaction stagger so i'm still keeping that one i was going to use this one for olt but i figured nah i'm just going to keep this one on for damage my thing is to get in do the damage and get out i support in other different ways when it comes to spider man efficient output increase the web status build up for from the status from the spider drone projectile by 25 percent 
uh, the web, the traction. I want to bring them in close. That goes for any teammate that wants to do damage. Thor's God Blast, um, Kate Scattershot, Black Widow's automatic fire weapon, full auto. You know, this is to help out my team. You know, to get them away from them, put them in one area. I can do damage, y'all can do damage. This depends on who wants to do it. Extra, extra, increase the damage dealt by Web Bomb by 20%. So, let me see, where is that? All webbed up, yeah. And then we have Spider's Nest. The Wrecking Ball leaves behind a web hazard that will continue to apply web status to the enemy. This is perfect for when, especially I got enemies, you know, surrounding me, crowding me. And then anybody that's coming close, once you get my little area, man, I'm going in. Like, on some real snake eye stuff. Like, for real, for real. When you get close enough, bro, you you in my area of destruction. So it is where it is. Spun up. Uh, all web status damage is boosted by 10% while Wrecking Ball is active. Of course, in the mastery, I'm going to show y'all the last column and explain why I got what I got in the last column. But in melee, lights out. Um, increases the damage of all combo finishes by 15%. Like I said, this is a melee build, so it's strictly, well, brute force, which is increased the critical damage of all melee damage by 10%. And then we have the New York's finest performing takedowns, give you the Yorbs, shout out Doom. Increase the range damage of web shooters by 30%. I finally learned how to, oh, I'm tripping. <clears throat> Let me introduce y'all to the PS5 that I have, aka Miss Bertha. I've named my PS5 Miss Bertha, so Miss Bertha's actually working good. The combat style on this game um, is better for me now. The transitions are better. Everything is a lot smoother. So, shout out to all my PS5 users for this game. But I definitely see what y'all talking about. Not going anywhere. Increase the web status dealt by web tethers by 15%. I like the tether one. Reduce the amount of ammo cost of web tethers by 20%. So, increase and decrease. So, it's kind of like a balance thing. Web attack. Uh, web enemies take 10% more melee damage. Yes, sir. More, I love the word damage. It just works great with this build. Critical web. Increase the critical chain by 15% against web enemies. And then we have the web enemies that are defeated have a 20% chance to drop a heroic orb. Now, when I first got this patch for Spider-Man on, on my PS4 and I downloaded it, my game got corrupted somehow. So I had to re-download it. And then when I started getting my skill points, I was getting skill points up here. And I was done. It said 50, champion level was at zero. So I was like, okay, cool. I did this in probably, what, a day and a half? Unlike Black Panther, I did that in literally overnight. Got a champion level 10, started at 6.30 p.m. the other day. But anyway, and then for some reason it said three skill points, and I had, I had two champion points. And I was like, what? So it allowed me to spin skill points, and this is the skills that I have. Um, don't know how, I appreciate it, you know, helps out with the build, any build that I do, but I'll go over this one. Perfect counter, increase the damage of the next attack by 15% after performing a perfect evade, and I have the increased web status damage dealt of web counter by 20%. This is the intrinsic reserve, reduce the amount of intrinsic meteor loss when taking damage by 20%. Uh, Spider Might increases melee damage dealt by 10% while the intrinsic meter is full and the overcharge boost. Defeating the enemy with the wreckage restores a small portion of intrinsic meter. Like I said, this came strictly off of a jumbled up issue with the patch download. But to get Spider Man and all the new content, not content, but you know, patchwork a bit. But I'll take it. I ain't complaining at all. And then this is my champion points. I know they are garbo. I'm at 31 champion level. Shout out to my boy Relic. He actually, um, his Spider Man is ridiculous, man. He takes me to the raid all the time. Don't worry, bro. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. But um, this is where I'm at right now with champion points. I'm rocking the Spider Man 042 with the Mark. Okay, Mark 2. I'm so slow. I could have just looked at the. Man, I'm slow. So I'm rocking the Mark 2 suit with the iconic perch. Uh, my takedowns and such, have a nice flight, and of course, need some personal space. But yeah, man, this is the, this is the Snake Eyes build for the G.I. Joe series that I have for, for my uh, Spider-Man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for being on the scene. It's your boy Rebel. Your boy Rebel, not officially off the scene. 
uh, if you can, go ahead and destroy that like button, demolish the sub button, leave a comment behind, let me know what to do, how to do better, whatever the case may be, man. But I appreciate y'all watching. And as always, y'all stay tuned, man. More footage, more breakdowns, especially combat footage coming out with Spider-Man. So y'all definitely stay tuned to that. But as always, y'all deuces.